Catholics are getting them to count over easy admission. But they have this purpose supremacy, a uh, primacy. But the head of the church is the Pope, which again the Anglican does not uh, agree. I'm not saying anything, I just report to you what was happened in the newspaper, right? Okay. I'm going to continue. Right? And then, again, Church of England. The universe, the world, is it by creation or by evolution? Right? Is it according to Darwin's theory? And you know what? The Church of England apologize. Apologize. What it means is, hey, maybe we are wrong. The church teaching is wrong. Uh, not creation, maybe evolution. Uh, anyway, we apologize uh, for, for mis, uh, misunders misunderstanding you. Okay? And the, the big one is, the church apologizes to Darwin over theories. Uh, I think this is misleading. If ever there were a quote, it should be, the church of England apologizes to Darwin over theories. Okay. Continue. Confusing, isn't it? Very confusing. Very confusing. <laughs> right? Uh, but back to uh, back to slides. Okay. Eight hundred million people now can't be wrong, isn't it? One billion people now. Can be wrong, isn't it? It's true, decided by the majority. If 1.8 billion people say the earth is flat, will you, will, does it make the earth flat? No. Truth is not decided by majority, right? Truth is absolute. And we need to find out what is truth. The point I'm making is truth is not decided by a show of hands. The majority wins. No, truth is not decided by democracy. The majority wins. No. Right? If the if the whole world, the people in the world say the earth is flat, they're still wrong. The earth is brown. The circle of the earth, the Bible says. Right? right? Okay, so, who created this confusion? 1 Corinthians chapter 14, verses 33 tells us that, For God is not the author of confusion, but of peace. A little part of the same chapter, he says, let all things be done decently and in order. So one thing that we know is all these confusions are not created by God. <coughs> and if it is not from God, then from who? From man. It's man that makes all this confusion. And so don't put the blame on God. Don't put the blame on that God wrote a Bible that man could not understand. That it leads to confusion. No. God is a God of peace. God is a God who does things decently and in order. And so, God is not the author of confusion. What the scriptures? Romans 12, 1 to 2 tells us that, I beseech you, brethren, by the mercies of God, that you present your bodies a living sacrifice, holy acceptable unto God, which is your reasonable service. Verse 2. And be not conform to the world, but be it transformed by the renewing of your mind, that you may prove what is that good and acceptable and perfect will of God. Yes. In your quest to get more members, the band, the rules, the man, the, the, the teachings, right? To suit the world, right? The, the, the church has been 
press to conform to the world rather than the members be transformed by the renewing of the mind okay so that we will know what is that good and acceptable and perfect view of God so there's a danger that's been uh, confronting uh, the modern world the modern world this was what the Church of England has been trying to do right Matthew chapter 16 verse 9 what God has put together, let men put not, put not asunder, is a thousand doctrine. You need to dig it out. Uh, today is not a discussion on marriage or remarriages, but suffice it to say, especially young people, marry a Christian. Marry a Christian, period. Right? <clears throat> marry a Christian. Okay. Right. Acts chapter 40 verse 15 and saying Sirs, what do you do these things? We are also men of like passions with you and preach unto you that you should turn from these vanities unto the living God which made heaven and earth and the sea and all things that are therein The Bible states clearly and very emphatically that God created all things the living God which made heaven and earth and the sea and all things they are David Mr. David was wrong okay it's by creation Acts chapter 5 verse 29 then Peter and the other apostles answered and said, We ought to obey God rather than men. This teaching, is it from God or is it from men? Once we have distinguished that, then what do we do? Acts 15, 29. We ought to obey God rather than men. Because there is a way which seemed right unto a man, but the end thereof are the ways of death. Proverbs 14, 12. It is not in man to direct his steps. Yes. The Bible is the inspired, sufficient, complete, final, and authoritative revelation of God to man. Christianity is a revealed religion. Okay? God is the creator, infinite. We are the creation, finite. How can a finite being understand and, com and comprehend an infinite being? Yes, when you look at nature and the creations of the world, the mountains, the rivers, those are evidences of a creator. But no matter how long you stay at the stay at the coconut tree, no matter how long you stay at the stay at the mountain, you still do not know the thinking of God, the view of God. Unless God revealed his view to us. And the Bible is that revealed view of God. And it's the inspired sufficient, complete, final and authoritative revelation of God to me. We need to read the newspaper to find out what's going on in this world. How is man doing and behaving? And at the same time, you need to read the Bible to find out what man should be doing and behaving. And invariably you find that they're not congruent. And that's why we need to encourage one another to walk with God. Not deviate from the way of God. I would encourage you, those who have not picked up a, a copy of this, the Bible can be believed, right, uh, at the uh, 
book rack uh, after the worship service. It's beautifully written by Brother Yao Kong. Okay? The Bible can be believed. Okay? The problem with the word is they do not take the Bible as the final, as the complete and authoritative revelation of God to man. Why? What was the problem with Roman Catholicism? It's because they take the Bible and they add something else called the Roman Catechism. 